Yeah, it was a big time performance by him. Um, you know, obviously in the run game and in the past in the past game, he great run. He had a, he, the, the both of his touchdown runs were outstanding runs. Really, the one I know it was only four yards out, but it reminded me of that New Orleans one he made last year. So, uh, big time performance in a big time stage. What about as a passer? Yeah, same. I mean, how, how many yards do he have? 300, 333 with eighty three percent. You know the stats. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that that was a huge play. With you know, we had a timeout, and with 15 seconds left, um, that was that was the one that obviously got us in the field goal range to, to get those three points at the at the end of the half. So he was in complete control that whole drive, um, and you know, I, I thought that play was outstanding. Right, if, if a guy when a guy makes a play uh, with a little bit of presence in his face and makes that type of throw, I mean, that's that's a huge play. Read the coverage perfectly, went with the with, with the plays. You know. We ran that play earlier in the drive, and Devonte. Uh, it was slightly different, but he, the ball went to Devonte. Then you get a different coverage, and it goes to Dallas. So, you know, that's just being in complete control and, and taking what the defense gives you. And it was a big time play by him that uh, got us points. With all the work that you put in in the last year, would you say that the game at this point is kind of slowing down for him and all that compared to last year? And given all the work that he's put in, over he's put in so much work, and of course, you know, it, it, it has it's it's slow it's slowing down, but it should right for him at this point because you know he's a year out he's a year ahead of you know he's a year further into his process, and we're talking about getting better every day, and he lives that. He's one of our captains, he's one of our leaders, and he lives the the. The theory of getting better every day, and and that's why you're seeing major improvements because of the the type of person and the type of the player he is. How much did it benefit the play calling that the change wasn't made mid season? I'm sorry. How much did it benefit the offensive play calling that Shane was? You guys are gonna come in and not have to change things like you did. In the I know it wasn't a huge shift last year, but it was still a shift. That yeah, I don't. I, I don't think it was all that, all that, quite that different. It just let me be in more control as far as the situations of the game. Um, like you saw us kind of go down the field and and we're able to utilize our time the, um, in the in the two minute drill. I get you. It's a huge play. Yeah, you know, we we obviously talk to our offense a lot about. You know, we talked to our offense an awful lot about if there's a turnover, we got to go and make that tackle, just like our offense did. And, you know, that we have a ton of team meetings about situational football. And that's a situation within the game that you got to be able to react and go. And, and it somehow got into Aaron's head, too, right, to be like, I got to get this guy down and let the defense play defense here. So, um, you know, that's just all the situational work we've done. Obviously, that's great speed by, by Aaron to, to track him down and great uh, effort by Aaron to track him down. And our defense got a turnover uh, with Avante right after that. So, um, you know, that's just guys, you know, uh, given of, of themselves uh, to their teammates, too, like to track him down like that. It was a heck of a tackle. I'm not sure. I'm not sure I knew that. Yeah, and I don't see, we don't, his, his, uh, his jets are not on display very often, and so uh, I'm not sure I knew that. It was, that was impressive. He, he rugby guy, so, you know, I'm, I'm sure there's some tape somewhere. We'll find it. We'll find the tape. Nick, Nick Jefferson, uh, Slayton on Justin Jefferson, what was kind of like the key for that, and, and what was your plan as far as him following Jefferson? Yeah, there was, you know, <laughs> You can't just go in with with one plan. Defense, first of all, the defensive staff did an unbelievable job of, um, you know, with the plan um, and what the, and the guys did an unbelievable job of executing it. Um, and you don't just go in with one, you know, put all your eggs in one basket, right? And so there was different, there was different uh, disguises, there were different coverages. But make no mistake about it, it was it was to it was a lot of it was to stop number eighteen. Uh, he's a heck of a football player, um, and so. It, but when Slay had to cover him one on one, he did obviously did an unbelievable job. When you when you bring all the guys that on Slay's uh, second interception, really on the one before that too, right? Um, that that could have been an interception. Um, 
you can't help and there's there's no help when you bring all those guys right it, you're in cover zero and and slay got sticky in the coverage and, and made an interception and so and that's what we see slay do you know o over and over again he it, oh, one of the reasons I, I always think that our receivers are taking steps uh in the right direction and, and getting better is because of the work they have to do to go against slay and james and practice and avante and and zach mcpherson and all those guys so um yeah slay that's why he's one of our captains, the way he plays, the way he studies, the way he leads. How important was it for the defense to bounce back after the way last week ended? Yeah, yeah, obviously um, it wasn't up to our standard last week. You know, all the defense players would be the first ones to tell you that. And our, our job as coaches to put them in the best position we possibly can. Um, and so that was an important bounce back game for us uh, uh, defensively. And I think that, you know, Again, it was a it was a full team defense game, and we we talk about Slay, you know, the job he did on on Jefferson, um, but the coach is putting the guys in the right position and the salt of the pocket that that our our front uh, you know our front guys and our front seven really got with some of the pressures, and then when it was four man rush. On the opening yeah. script, what was the focus point? On the opening script, what was the focus point? Um, yeah, you know what we what we did there. Obviously, you saw we went no huddle. Um, and we wanted to go get a fast start. That 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 right there, um, you know, there was there were some things that happened in that drive. It wasn't exclusively to go no huddle, but the way the drive was going, um, we adjusted and we just said, all right, let's keep going with this. And and Shane did a great job of calling it. Our guys did a great job of executing it. Um, and we felt like we had them on their heels um, in that scenario. And we felt like they were tired. Now we were tired too. There's no doubt, right? Um, you know, a 12 play drive, I think it was to start to start the game, um, and we were tired too. But our guys did a really nice job of, you know, being able to to finish that drive off. And and there were penalties, and I, we got to address the penalties. That there was too many of those. Um, but we were able to, you know, we were able to dig ourselves out of that hole. Uh, Jalen made a great play to AJ, um, and so it was executing on third down, and then going a little bit of tempo. A couple more minutes. You know, I, I think that it doesn't surprise me in the sense of that's how practices looked, right? That he's went to the right place with the football, you know, versus different looks. And so a great indicator of how we're going to play in games is how we practice. And, and not just this week, right? Not just last week, but also throughout training camp and in OTAs. And so I wouldn't say I'm surprised. I've seen the growth of them. And, and again, I, we talk about this so much with Jalen. Like, why is Jalen going to continue to reach his ceiling? Because he's tough. He's got high football character. Um, and, and he loves football. And so uh, he's going to reach his ceiling, and, and it's, it's fun watching him grow. Late in the second quarter, uh, you made a couple throws in Devontae in the middle of the field, um, and they're kind of dropping back in that zone and kind of saying, you know, throw it. Mm -hmm. and, and he did. How, how big is that? How yeah. Big? Yeah, it was huge. Uh, again, um, it was just, again, taking what the defense gave him and, and finding, you know, obviously that play has more than, you know, just Devontae. It goes to the next one and he gets to, you know, maybe Devontae was the first read, maybe it was the second read, but he was getting to the where he needed to go. And, again, I, he just took what the what was there for him, right? And some of the some of the coverage they were playing, they were clouding on the outside. So when you when you when you play cover two on the outside, it, it takes away some of the outside throws at, at times. And so he has to react and, and take what the defense obviously gives him. And, and he did that a good job of that tonight. All right, guys, we got Smitty. I'm sorry. Of all the things Jalen did, what impressed you? Shoot, I mean, 83 percent passing. I don't, you know, with that many attempts, what was he? 26 of 33. Yeah, that's pretty darn impressive. Yeah.